Here in the U.S. and around the world, trout are one of the most commonly found fish in fresh water. There are a variety of ways to fish for them, including fly fishing, spoons, rapalas, and spinners. Where you might find trout will depend on what time of year it is, and it will also depend on if you're fishing in a still or a moving water. Trout usually prefer clear and clean water. Trout mostly eat aquatic insects, minnows, and crayfish, so it's probably a good idea to use a bait that imitates one of these food sources. During the warmer months, trout are often found near the bottom of still water, where the water is cooler. This means your best bet is often to present the bait just off of the bottom. A perfect rig for doing so is the drop shot rig. It's a very easy to tie rig, which only uses a dropper loop and then a fisherman's knot below it to tie on your weight. The use of a dropper loop knot allows the hook and bait to move more freely along the main line. This can give a more natural presentation. Here are some quick examples of when to use a drop shot. If you're fishing in still water, if it's windy, if surface baits are not working, if you're fishing with beginners, if you're looking to switch out hooks and weights easily, if you're in deep water, if other anglers are pressuring the surface, Drop shot rigs are also commonly used with soft plastics, jigs, and other artificial lures. Using a drop shot with a soft plastic allows you to hold the bait in one place and jig it up and down. This can help you be more accurate and get down into the strike zone more quickly. My favorite bait to use with a drop shot is a small piece of earthworm or nightcrawler and plenty of hook point exposed. This helps prevent gut hooking. Once you feel a bite, make sure there's tension on the line and you keep your rod tip up. A softer hook set is recommended for a drop shot. All right, let's get into the specifics of tying the rig. Number one, tie a dropper loop knot. This is a very simple knot. With practice, this knot will become effortless and nearly instant. Depending on the regulations in your state, you might want to add additional dropper loops in order to present at multiple depths or with different baits at the same time. Many states limit the number of hooks per fishing rod to two or three, so just make sure to check before tying up. Number two, attach a hook. The best part of the dropper loop is its versatility. Simply feed the loop through the eye of the hook, pull the loop over, and tighten. The hook can easily be taken off and swapped out without retying, making it easy to try out different hooks and lures on the spot. Number three, attach a weight. This can be done using another dropper loop, a fisherman's knot, a surgeon's loop, or any other strong knot that will be sure to hold. I like to use another dropper loop so that I can potentially switch it out if necessary. Picking your components. Number one, line. You will want to use a clear main line or at least a clear leader for the drop shot rig, especially if fishing in clear water or on a sunny day. Six pound test monofilament is my choice, but you may want to go down to four pound or even two pound if the fish are spooky. On the other side, if you're fishing in current or in a lot of snags, eight or 10 pound will save you from losing your rig. Number two, sinker. Use a drop shot weight or a bass casting weight of eighth ounce to half ounce for trout, depending on the distance you're casting. The key is to use as little weight as possible so that your presentation will be less clunky. Using less weight also allows you to navigate through weed beds and debris with less hangups. Number three, hook. Usually a number 14 to number eight egg caddis hook or bait holder. If the fish are wary or you're not getting hookups, switch to a smaller hook. In conclusion, the drop shot is a simple rig that can be very effective for trout when used in the right situation. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss the next video. Also, go check out my how-to playlist if you're looking for more tips or inspiration. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you soon, on the bank or in the comments. This is ePark Fishing. Peace.